Major League Baseball is making a historic commitment to diversify America's pastime. MLB Commissioner Rob Manfred announced the league will be committing up to $150 million to the Players Alliance. The funding will be used to increase black representation within the game of baseball both on and off the field. The money will be contributed over a 10-year period for a variety of diversity initiatives. In addition, MLB is pledging to ensure black baseball history and culture are celebrated in the future. Joining me now for more on this is Curtis Granderson. He's a former MLB player and president of the Players Alliance. Curtis, welcome. Great to have you with us. So the MLB has committed $150 million to the Players Alliance over the next decade. How exactly is that funding going to be used? Well, this is historic, and we have to thank Major League Baseball for giving us this opportunity to continue to do things that we've already been doing. 150 professional baseball players, both active and former players, have been in the community doing a bunch of great things. While we're here in Denver, we've provided kids with their first gloves, their first bats. We've done our Amplified event to connect the community, the cities that we live in, along with the baseball community, introducing fans to the game, that they start to participate in it, make sure it's accessible for it, ultimately maybe end up working in it or playing this game, but ideally just making sure that it's available for them. And this last year in December and in January during COVID, we hit the ground running. We provided COVID supplies, food supplies, and baseball equipment in 33 different cities over the course of 40 different days. So these are just some of the things that the Players Alliance are already doing. And this funding and this contribution from MLB is going to give us the opportunity to keep moving forward. And as you mentioned, the Players Alliance consists of nearly 150 black active and former MLB players. And the Alliance's mission is to increase interest and opportunities for the black community within the game of baseball. You know, according to Zipia, right now, fewer than 7% of active major leaguers are black. Why do you think there is such a lack of diversity within the game of baseball? What are the, the reasons for that? Are, are, are they cultural? Does it go beyond that? What is the alliance doing then to change this? It's a combination of things. One, you have to make sure that the game is affordable. You don't want to be priced out of this game. When I started playing this game, back when I played T-ball in Little League, we sold some candy bars. We paid about $25, and I got a chance to play the game if I chose to. I was able to buy a bat, buy a glove, and start participating in the game. As things have started to progress, it's become a lot more expensive. It's a little bit less accessible. And you want to make sure that you start to eliminate those challenges and hurdles to make sure that it's available and make sure it's introduced. Seeing players such as ourselves that were out there on the field with these kids out there said, hey, you know what? You look like me. I could possibly do that. And it's great to see individuals that look like you. And the great thing about our game, even though you put that pie chart up there and showed that there is a lack of diversity, there's also a high interest in this game. We did a big push during Jackie Robinson Day, which happens annually every year, where players were asked if they would donate their salary or a portion of their salary on that day to help us with the Players Alliance to do the things that we're talking about here today. And as you see on that pie, we're not the heavy representation on there, but over 500 players in Major League Baseball donated a portion or all of their Jackie Day, Jackie Robinson Day scout, or salaries on that day to help us start to see some of this change in this game. So it's a conversation that's been had not only amongst the black players, and it's going to take all the players in this game to see this change that we want to have happen. So, Curtis, let's talk about the popularity of the sport uh, sort of in general, because obviously, historically, baseball has been referred to as America's pastime. But the sport is struggling with declining viewership in recent decades. And this year, there was concern over the sharp increase in strikeouts and a drop in run production across the league. You know, do you think that this style of home run ball is bad for the game overall? Do you think it will cause sort of young kids who come to the game and want to see a lot of action? And do you think it will sort of turn them off? And do you expect it to last? I definitely don't think that it's a bad thing. But we have to be at the same time thinking that we got to modify some things along the way. And last night's home run derby was a prime example of it. Adding that clock in there, giving the ability to hit home runs quickly, to hit them far. And last night in Denver, it was the first time I'd ever seen this, where there were constant standing ovations one after another after each hitter went out there and performed. And this was showing that they loved seeing the home runs. They loved making the noise and cheering for them and watching to see how far 
players could hit the ball. You see in that video that you show right there, the scoreboard out in left field, Pete Alonso, who won the home run derby, I thought he was going to hit it yesterday. And it was amazing to watch it. And these are some of the steps and changes that Major League Baseball is making and will continue to make to highlight and showcase all the amazing athleticism and talent and individuals that we have in this game. And hopefully we can start to see that resurgence come back. Yeah, I always love watching baseball because I feel like it just highlights the whole range of athleticism. I mean, baseball players are just such incredible athletes across uh, across the board. Um, so, Curtis, I want to ask you about the Players Alliance role in moving tonight's All-Star game from Atlanta to Denver after Georgia passed legislation for new restrictive voting laws. What message did the MLB send by changing venues? And do you think tonight's game marks a changing point for the game of baseball in the future? I think the changing point is that we wanted to talk and make sure that we heard everybody was represented. We as the Players Alliance had the ability to get a hold of a lot of active ball players to understand what they were thinking about the changes that were ultimately going to happen in the state of Georgia. Because there's a lot of ball players that come from that state. And the biggest things that resonated with us that we passed on to Major League Baseball, which I think played a big part in them making their decision, was that players said that my mother and father, my grandparents, fought for some of these rules and legislation that are trying to be changed right now. It's going to be a very interesting situation if I get selected to play in that all-star game in, in Atlanta, if the game happens to stay there. I don't know what I'm going to do in that moment. I don't know if I'm going to play. I don't know if I'm not going to play. But it's something that's very important, not only to me, but to my family. And I think that message was heard loud and clear. It was part of the reason why the game was moved. Now, that doesn't mean that we're going to stop what, doing what we're doing in the city of Atlanta and the state of Georgia. We as the Players Alliance are set to go out there later on this month for Hank Aaron weekend, get back in the community, continue to keep doing the things that we promised and said that we were going to. Another kids camp out there, another amplified event out there. We're going to continue to keep moving and grooving, but we also wanted to make sure that our voices were heard. All right, you heard it right here. Curtis Granderson, president of the Players Alliance. Thank you so much for joining us.